Hi everyone. So if you are in the field of academia, regardless if you are an undergraduate student, a postgraduate student, a postdoc, even a lecturer, I'm sure you have given many presentations in the past and you will continue to be giving presentations in the future. It's just part of being in academics. And in my experience, most people handle their presentations quite well, but what they struggle with the most is the question and answer session. Presenters are usually quite nervous, they don't answer questions confidently, and this can negatively affect how your audience perceives you. So to help out, I'm going to share a few tips on how you can overcome the question and answer session and get through it confidently. My first tip is to just take it slow. A lot of people tend to get nervous during the question and answer session. And as a result, they end up talking really fast. So when this happens, your audience might have trouble following you. They might have trouble understanding you. And it appears very evidently that you are nervous. So just take it slow. You don't get any points for going through your question and answer session very fast. And slow and steady wins the race. My next tip would be to maintain eye contact. When we get nervous, we may tend to look around the room, look to the ceiling, look to the floor. And this again gives off the perception that you are very nervous and less confident. So maintain eye contact during the question and answer session and look at the audience member or the examiner who has given you the question and look at them when you answer them. Not only will this make you appear more confident, but it gives the audience the feeling that you are actually talking to them and not just talking to the room. Yeah, so during a question and answer session, don't be looking around the room and avoiding eye contact. That's not a good thing to do. The next point is to anticipate what questions could be asked during your presentation. Now you can't accurately predict what questions will be asked, but you can anticipate them. So if you can anticipate the questions that will be asked, you will then be able to prepare your answers in advance and this can help you better prepare for your presentations question and answer session by coming prepared so anticipate the questions prepare your answers in advance and you'll be able to fly through your question and answer session no problem my next step is to reduce the length of your answers when people answer questions and they tend to go on too long they may end up losing the train of thought. They may end up going around in circles and your audience may lose track of what you've been saying. So just answer the question in as short a way as possible. Keep it precise, keep it accurate. There's no need to give long winded answers to questions if a short answer will do. And lastly, just think before answering a question. You don't have to answer and you don't have to answer a question immediately when it's been posed when it's been posed you can take a couple of seconds to think about it just let your audience know that you need a couple of seconds to gather your thoughts and then you can answer it there's no requirement or no uh, benefit to answering questions immediately if you don't yet know what to answer so to recap i've shared five points which can help you overcome the question and answer session and to help you get through it more confidently the first is to slow down the second is to maintain eye contact next is to anticipate questions and when answering the questions you should reduce the length of your answer and of course think before answering so i'm sure you've noticed by now that these five tips collectively they spell out the word smart. So this is why I've named the title of this video, how to be smart during your question and answer session. So hopefully you will be able to remember these five tips by remembering to be smart. That's all for this short video. Um, I might do more short tip videos like this for academia in the future. I'm currently going back and forth between uh, POV vlogs and tips. So if you enjoy these kind of videos, please let me know and I might do more in the future. So yeah, thanks for watching.